Sunday morning. Everyone else is fast asleep. And um, I am very proud of myself this morning because even though now I'd rather stick hot needles in my eyes, <laughs> at a more um, optimistic moment in the week, I booked into hot yoga. Um, and yeah, as I say, now I couldn't think of anything worse, but I know that I'm gonna feel great after because I really got into my yoga last year and I was doing it quite regularly. I really struggle with it. I find it exceptionally hard. I find yoga hard. I find all these things really hard, but the benefits are massive. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. And you know, everyone that you ever talk to that um, really knows about the body, you know, various uh, personal trainers I've had and, you know, people that come on the show. If you can do a minimum of a couple of yogas a week and a couple or one or two Pilates reformer, you know, the one on the machine a week, then you're really doing something amazing for your body. So, tick, I did Pilates on Tuesday. Tick, I did Zumba on Monday. Tick, I've done 10,000 steps every day. Tick, I've done two, uh, three hits. And now tick, Sunday morning, I'm doing hot yoga. Actually, I'm really glad I started this conversation because I didn't realize how much I'd done. And now I'm gonna have a green tea. I'm going to do a mini hit just for five minutes just to get my um, furnace fired up and then a bit of a stretch so that I'm not making too many horrible noises in yoga. Oh my god, I better clean my makeup from around my eyes, hadn't I, before I go out. See you later. So Mark's just come down and I'm going to try and convince him to do something. Let's see how this goes. Mark? Hello. Morning. Hi, yeah. So do you want to do a five minute thing? What sort of thing? <laughs> it's literally five minutes, makes you feel so much better. I've just done it. It's, okay. it's the calm body where you just stretch just for five minutes. You don't have to sit down, you don't have to lie down and then get up. You just stand up, you just do something for five okay. minutes. Yay! Okay, so this is it, it's on my Calm app and it's called Morning Wake Up. Look, it's eight minutes. And I've been doing it every day for about 10 days now. And I really notice a difference. In what way? I don't know, it just sort of st settles you, takes you out of yourself. What is it? It's just kind of a little morning stretch that actually our bodies naturally would do. Right. You know when you wake up and you do all of this sort of stuff yeah, yeah. in bed, but nobody ever leaves themselves enough time to do that. Yeah. But it's like that and just a, a little bit of deep breathing. So, come and have a go. You can just do it in your clothes like that. I, I, the only reason I'm getting you to do Good morning, welcome to Calm Body. My name's Christiane. You'll get used to it, you'll get used to her. She's nice. Just really do it though, really get into it. I'm not going to talk to you at all. Yeah, if you want. Pretend I'm not here. See your mouth. Is that meant to be? It's done weirdly a bit. Exactly, that's why you need this so badly. <sighs> Lift your elbows shoulder high. Take a nice deep exhale. <sighs> Put in your core so you don't hurt your back. That's it. And then exhale back to the back. Put in your core tight. And inhale to the left. And then you can keep working this movement. Do you want to drop your shoulders a bit? Whatever feels good in your body today. You're keeping Really proud of you, babe. Keep going. And here he is, halfway through. So many aches, so many noises coming out of every socket. Oh, that's why it's so good. I love this yeah. one because it just pulls. It just makes me feel so old. Yeah, but it won't because I feel so different now after do 10 you? days of doing it. I do it really easily and I was like this. It's like a stretch meditation, isn't it? Yeah. So the hips can 
Could you just get into your body and out of your head? I, honestly, I, I think it's amazing. <sighs> so simple, it's so short. I can't do the simplest things. Yeah. Oh, God, this is that. Uh, we do it again, babe. Slide your hands down your thighs and start to stick your buttocks back. One of my teachers used to say, blossom your buttocks here. Blossom your buttocks. <laughs> exactly, let me see if they blossom. Oh, God. That sounds... Hideous. So you need a little bit of a dip there, that's it. Blossoming my buttocks. Just concentrate. Don't lean on your knees. Why not? Lean on your thighs, because you're putting pressure on your knees. Do what she's telling you. Well, her arms aren't bent. This may be the perfect Let's just put her arms down. Only if you can bear it. If not, go back to the hands. Yeah, you need to do this every day, babe. Stage B. Otherwise, you can allow yourself to hang over the body. You're joking. I can't do that. And just let the head hang. I can do that now, but it's taken me 10 days. Yeah, you need this, babe. Make sure that the knees aren't in or You mustn't let the knees turn in. So turn your feet in a bit. That's it. Your shoulders right back, so nice. Pulling your core. Cool. I can't say it's so nice. Sit back a bit. <laughs> That's it. Balance it for a minute. Seems a lot longer than six minutes. Eight. Yeah, you can say eight. Really, Rich, come on, get into it now. I am. Because it makes you feel better, don't you? Really Every part of me feels so heavy. Yeah. Length Which is the other direction? So what's that done for me? Oh my God, <laughs> what's that noise? <laughs> so what does that do for me, what we just did? I don't, I sort of feel like I've just stood and just put my arms in the air. What does it do, genuinely? Did you feel anything? Yeah, I felt, I faced how resistant my body was to any simple movement. Yeah, so, so, so it's called mindful stretching. It's because, so when you're doing it and you're doing it by yourself, you're just really getting into it. And I think, I find, but when I do it first thing in the morning, it takes me away a bit from my head. And if you really get into it, and it's difficult for you because I was filming you and you really breathe and you really think about that muscle and you really hold the band and you stretch. Oh, it just, because we all walk around like this, you know, Oh, no, I definitely feel like, a, I just, why aren't you doing meditations every morning? I do. When? Before you're up. Oh, have you done one this or morning? Or I do one in bed. Oh, no, I was going to do one and you got up earlier. Oh, right. I was about to do one. Sorry. You want to do one, you can do one with me. Yeah, I'd quite fancy one. Let's do one now. I really don't, yeah. We've got time. Yeah, let's yeah, do great. it. Yeah, great, let's do it. So what do you, you were just saying you feel really nervous about going to yoga? I do actually feel nervous about going to yoga. Why? Well, I haven't done it very much, so I'm not very good at it. Doesn't mean I couldn't be good at it one day, but there's just something really intimidating about yoga. Because yoga saying. girls, they're always really thin. They're quite angry. <laughs> not angry. Because they they're searching for kind of chillness, but it means that they're a bit white knuckly going in. If you meet people who've started yoga, they're a bit anally retentive and neurotic. Some yoga people might be. I don't think we can say that about all yoga yeah, but that's, people. That's the aim of the yoga. And once they've done yoga and they've succeeded with yoga, then they're, they're much calmer. Yeah, but also I don't know, I've never done this yoga teacher before, so I haven't done yoga for ages and I'm terrified that I'm going to fart and I'm terrified that I'm going to stumble and I'm terrified that I'm going to hate it after 10 minutes and then know that I've got another 50 minutes before I can leave and it's hot yoga, so I'm going to be boiling. Bikram. No, it's not Bikram, it's not yeah. as hot as Bikram, but it's hot. Do you remember the one time I came with you to a Bikram yoga? Oh my God, it was so funny, guys. And they stood me underneath one of the heaters. Oh my God, it was so how much were we laughing? And they're so serious in Bikram. Yoga. They don't let you out. They lock you in. They're very supple. They lock you in. But they lock you in. Somebody tried to get out and they wouldn't let them. But it's like, it's like you're putting a padded cell. No, it's not. In a straight jacket. We might be exaggerating. But I was underneath the heater. I have never sweated so much in all my and life. I didn't sweat at all, do you remember? Even in Bikram yoga, That's I So sweat. weird. But why is it? Yeah, there were women in there making noises, going... Because it's so hard. No, but they were doing... It felt like they didn't need to do it. It felt like they were acting. They go, no, it's because it's so hard. You know, you burn about 600 calories in Bikram yoga. You say I'm supple, but when I find myself in the middle of any yoga... We had a lovely yoga teacher, a friend of mine's wife is a yoga teacher. And, but, but my problem often with yoga is you find yourself suddenly in a position that becomes so stressful to hold. Yeah. 
that you li- literally everything in your life evaporates as you it start doesn't... to fall apart. But I think that's why they say it's good for you, isn't it? Because you're just concentrating on staying alive. You're desperately trying to stay alive and not not fall mm. over and break something. There is something very God, dang- I've really talked myself out of this yoga lesson. <laughs> There are some real sort of yoga Nazis. I just reminded myself why I haven't booked yoga for ages. Yeah, I'm kind of pleased I'm not going with you. Shit. Just make, I tell you what, babe, when you're in there, just try and make your bottom blossom. Oh, shut up. That's what I'm worried about. What about if it properly blossoms? Blossoms so much. It looks like popcorn coming out. I'll try and go and do loads of farts. Oh, God. So, Mark dropped me off outside yoga a little bit early. And uh, so I went for a coffee, and I'm not kidding you girls, I almost just stayed in there. Anyway, here I go. I'll let you know after it's how I do. There she is, the wandering adventurer, the traveling nutter, the strange little nanny, the little nanny die. Hello, subs. Hello, subs. Hello, subs. Hello, subs. Hello. Hello, subs. Nanny Di here. Yeah, nanny Di in the house. Nanny Di in the house. Nanny Di in the house. In the house. In the house. Wow. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, how are hello. You? Yeah, good. Good, good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Go for a walk with the dogs? Yes. Yay. Good journey. No buses. <laughs> Did you nice. sleep well? I did, but I didn't the night before and felt awful yesterday. That's why I didn't come yesterday. Like, oh, bless I you. Don't worry. We were fine. Um, You're breathless. <laughs> Do you need an asthma pump? So has, has Nat's gone for her? She's doing yoga. We'll walk the dogs and then we'll uh, pick her up. Okay. Should we do it? Yes. You are here with the wandering minstrel. I'm really How worried to tell you things. You First of all, like, when you dropped me off, Sainsbury's wasn't open, so I went and had a coffee, right? right. And when I was in there, I thought, I was telling the subs, I'm not going to go into yoga. <gasps> I lost all confidence. I thought you were going to not go. Yeah, so I thought... I said, oh, Nadia was a bit yeah. worried about going. I was really worried. I lost all confidence. I thought, I'm just going to have to cry my dick and bacon. <laughs> but God, I didn't. I had doubts. a coffee. Serious. I wasn't going to go right up until oh, the last second. Then when I went upstairs and I looked in through the through Window. the door, there were two, like, super fit, gorgeous-looking oh, teachers no. there. So I was about to turn around, but instead... I knocked on the door Good and, girl. and I said, hello, I'm really nervous about this class today. Am I going to be okay? Yeah. And they were like, oh, of course, it's a really lovely class. Da, da, da. Then I went into the changing room and this lovely woman, Rachel, came up to me and said, oh, I said, I'm a, she said, I'm a bit overwhelmed because I watch your vlog, you oh And I was like, oh, she goes, you're really into keeping fit. I went, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't want to go in. And she was like, no, no, it's really good. So again, you know, it's always Whoa. good to just say if you're scared, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. If I'd gone in and pretended I was yes. all right. Yes. Oh my God, I absolutely loved it. But I oh, felt brilliant. a bit bad because Mark said, I know what's going to happen. You're going to come out and you're going to say you've loved it. <laughs> so I said, I don't know what to do because I am going to come out and say, <laughs> say I, loved I loved it. it. No, that's it, good. That's why good. don't you just say, Mark, you're always right? <laughs> Mark, you're always right, but Mark, can I beg you to come? Oh. Yeah, no, my try. lumber, my back here is totally free now. Is I, don't it? Even, I don't even want to use the word lumber. No, I know lumber is a particularly <laughs> sort of honestly, difficult word to use. Honestly, like. I feel like there's so much that's unknotted, and I just feel the thing is about it when you do it right, you feel 10 years younger. Yeah. You don't feel all no, creaky exactly. and like. Yeah. Yeah, I, so it was a brilliant experience. I couldn't be more chuffed. She does lots of just lying and stretching with just like nice. Uh, soothing music she's really down to earth she's scottish yeah. so she says things like you get any of those hippie things you've heard yes and just use them she goes oh. you know putting your stuff on fluffy white clouds whatever she goes they do actually work and i just loved her because she was so oh. you know be a yogi but I, not like not like dissing yoga but also yeah. understanding that not everyone's in a zen mm, place do you know what i mean well, i thought earlier though mark before i met you when you said that nadia was going to yoga um I thought, why doesn't, why don't you, judging on what Nad says, how it is, why don't you just try it? What did you do? Did you well, I know, but, but say... No, but I was saying try it now, because, it because now. of the way that you work on a computer all the time. Yes. Yeah, Anyone that's, that's with a con- computer, yeah, yeah, yeah. it all goes down your spine, down into yeah. your lump. Shoulders. And you just, yeah. yeah. And like 10 years down the line, I mean, you, you get that? all those things come and haunt you, you as you get older. Wherever it was where we had that massage, 
And you yeah. were so, you got so... Oh my God, she said your shoulders. Can you imagine what his shoulders are like? God, no, I can't. Because you do that so much. I know. Subs, honestly, if you're on a computer a lot, well, anything. And just as a family, I but think. But what, I'm, what I would say is, if you don't like the yoga lesson you go to, try another one. Oh. Hey. So nice. I've only ever had three Hello. yoga teachers that I've sorry, really sorry. liked. One is Rachel in Ibiza. Oh, look, it's your phone, Mum. No, no, sorry. I'll just right. One is Rachel in Ibiza. Yeah. Um, one is our friend Juliet, but we can't uh, do that because it's only in the evening. Yeah, so yeah. we can't do that one. I loved her lessons. And this one. So Juliet, Rachel and Maria, you are all top yoga teachers. Oh. And what's happening about... Um, Eating and stuff, what's happening about the meal plan idea? Well, we wrote, we wrote it down, but I failed to observe it. I did the beginning bit and I did the end bit, but I missed the middle bit. Why? Lunch, you... lunch. I struggle with lunch because if I'm out or if I'm busy or if I'm focused no, on working, I this just is, don't do it. This is bullshit. It's not bullshit. You were here, right, and there was turkey in the fridge because I told you. And you couldn't walk over to the fridge and just get a few pieces of turkey I was, and have I a bit of spinach with it. I literally, my head was down, I didn't think. I don't think, if my head's down, I don't think to eat. No, no, well, you have to. You the have whole to. point set of a timer. meal plan is that you almost have you to set, like, set an alarm. So like five to twelve, whatever. Yeah. Do, do it by time, that's what we used to do. I ne- do you know what, Mark? I nearly actually did him one of the meal plans that we used to do on the ward. You should do because it. Because although there'd be different things, like I know you don't like yeah. certain of the milk that I use and stuff, but the amount of... of um, Spoonfuls of, of cereal, blah blah blah. Yeah, what time what you have you have to you can't not stick to it. It's like having snacks. This is the problem until you get into regular eating, yeah, yeah. you're it's always gonna be chaos. You can't say I don't have time. Everybody has time. Nobody is, you know, you're not in charge of nuclear weapons, are it's you? It's the same as Whereas you, you, you step away for 10 minutes. All the work sandwich. that you do that you're doing administratively that you have to do all the time, you know how important that is and it has to be done. You have to treat your meal plan as even more yeah. important than any of that. Exactly. And without, do, and I, I mean, it's, it's all very well to nod, love, but you do have yeah. to do it. <laughs> okay. um, it's I'm, all very well to nod, love. <laughs> No, it's so vital, especially for you. I mean, I've never known a person so affected by... Well, well, willful, but also... Is that just because I can't do it? I haven't done it. Yeah, I, I haven't done it. it. When, like, you say there's turkey in the fridge. What do you have to say to all that? I've had a proper telling off from your oh, mum. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And, and I do think there's a very big element in you of, of like there was the, were the girls on the ward, thinking, oh, I'm not going to eat because I'm not hungry at this moment without yeah. thinking ahead. I'm yeah. thinking yeah. that if I don't make myself eat now, in two hours' time, I'm going to be raving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't exactly. You think? I think you do. You think, oh, well, why should I eat now? I'll be losing weight yeah. if I don't the eat. Yeah, the girls used to say it all the time. Mm. And then in the end, they used to say to me before they left the unit, they used to say, blimey, snacks are more important almost than meals because mm. as long as you do them when you're supposed to do them. Mm. So, oh, God, isn't it miserable today? It is miserable, isn't it? It is actually miserable. But I don't mind a miserable Sunday because it's quite nice if you're staying in and you've got the heating on. And a bundle cooking, of contradictions, aren't you? Cooking a roast dinner. My mum. Da- I know loads of you have been asking where my mum and dad is. You must have thought we've put them in a cupboard or something. But they've been away in Jordan, so they just got back on Thursday. Which is like a country-sized cupboard. Yeah. So they're coming over for dinner with Dina and Nanny Di is there as well tonight. So we're just heading to Sainsbury's to buy chicken and apples for apple crumple. And I was just saying to Mark, it's funny, my auntie, my dad's sister, who was like such a massive thing in my life and especially around cooking and food because she was an amazing cook and I learned, I learned to cook a lot. She died last year. She had a good inning. She was like 90 something. But I was just thinking it's just, it's just strange isn't it the way life just carries on I'm with Thelma brutal. Brutal. it just carries on it's brutal yeah but life carries on in so many ways as well it's like when you're feeling if you feel if you feel just disorientated or grief yes. grief is a classic you know the, the clocks keep ticking the bills keep coming yeah. you know, it's just it's sometimes yeah. life can be quite brutal and soulless brutal it just yeah. brushes away things. She's that just are so gone. Nanny Thelma's just gone. Auntie Jamie's just gone. But we will remember her today when we talk about apple crumple. Maybe we'll go and look at the marmalade and remember Nanny Thelma. Maybe we could break Thelma. your nose and give you a nose job like she did. She broke her own nose to give herself a nose job, my auntie. She it's was the amazing. best story ever. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Off to buy chicken. Yorkshire puddings. 
because I can't be bothered to make them today, so I'm just going to buy them. Are we allowed to eat? Are we eating? Yeah, we're having. We're, we're eating for the rest food. of our lives, aren't we? We're not on a strict diet that I'd, I'd, I'd love to eat for the rest a of my normal life meal. today. We're going to have a lovely roast dinner. We're going to have a bit of apple crumble for pudding. We're going to have a nice lunch. I want to eat dinner. everything I could eat in the rest of my life today. No, no, I did it again. I've got to keep my shoulders down too. Why are you doing a plank against the wall? Because in a yeah, plank, so that's what you do when you're starting out. Oh. Is this a plank? I, aren't these like no, a that's, that's a push-up. Push that's a push-up. No, no, but I mean a push-up. Yeah. This is a plank. But am I doing it right now? No, mum, you go on your hands. You like on your elbows. Yeah, right. Or you try it on your elbows. You do it like that. This is this is a full plank. You have your legs off the floor, don't you? Yeah. No, 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 you don't. Have I thought the full plank was on your forearms. It, it is on your forearms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with your feet off. With, oh, yeah. On your feet. That yeah. is a plank. That is a plank. Oh, yeah, sorry. In yeah. yoga, sorry, you do it with your hands straight. It's because oh, okay. I've just been Mommy, doing it. You need to be filming. Oh. What part of the body is that? Oh, you're cool. Well, what you have to think of, you have to think like you've got a zip going right from your nun right up to here. Okay. Zipping in everything. So why it's so good is it works all those muscles and all those. Oh. But this, if you're doing that, press ups there, they're supposed to be like under your shoulder. So right? can you do planks, Mum? No, I can't do planks. Oh, can you do a low plank? Do this sort of a plank. Take me That's the beginner's plan. What's that? What's the difference? Oh, your knees are on the ground. Yeah, your knees are on the ground. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is like an art exhibition we saw yesterday. Oh, oh that's a plank. No, but, yeah, but... That's no, a plank. No, plank. So, so, so where do my elbows have to go? Where, where they are. No, they don't. Sure. You need to hold them like hold that. Hold your hands like, together. Down like that. Like that? Okay. <laughs> and your bum needs to be wrong. flatter. Flatter. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's, it. It. that's it. That's a good plank. It's a good plank. <laughs> it's a good plank. Yeah. She's doing a good plank. A proper Vicky, plank. I'm saying ages. She's doing a proper plank. Doing a proper plank. I like your skirt. Shut up. Yeah. But then you see, I can't do that in the class because I now have a problem of how to get up without going right. onto my knees. Yeah. So this is how I have to do it. How do you get up? Keep watching. Oh god. Oh, oh. oh my god. What was your favourite exercise? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, what's your favourite exercise? Um, oh, I know which one. You lie on your back. I'll show you. Yeah, Can you get the mat? Yeah. Look, it's this one. You start off like this. Yeah. Head comfortable. Comfortable. Like that. Feet like this. Mirror image of each other. <laughs> and then you go like this. You take your arm all the way over. You don't move yeah. any of the rest of your body. Oh, I love that. Because you're opening up yeah. your chest, oh, which is what we so don't do. Why are you laughing, you two? You're laughing at me, Kiki. Kiki laughing at you. I know. That oh, is gorgeous. That. Have you ever had somebody do this? Put your arm out. Oh, my God. Let's put your arm do? out. <laughs> no, don't pull it. No, I'm not going to pull it. Oh. Right. <laughs> pull it. do that. What is that? So that you get an extra stretch. Oh, yeah, no, it's well. And that... you go like that and you pull it up. Hold on, hold on. We start off like that, but then we have to do it to quickly. Right, right. Right. So we have to do it right. right. I find it very difficult with the other one. Is that your... <laughs> because I've, I've got a shoulder problem there. <laughs> what else can I show what, from you? From the wall? Yeah. <laughs> You've got shrapnel from the wall. Yeah. I can do that ish. Mm. Like that, and then your legs up. And then that. And then. Go on, then you can do it. And then that. <laughs> and, then back mm. up. and then then what? Back up! Mm. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I can't do that. Yeah. Well, you are you getting up? <laughs> I'm not. Go on. I'm breaking my fingers. Go on, you can do it. What's so hard about it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so hard? I'm trying to see if I do a jump. Let me see if I can jump it in now, because I've been doing do it all it week. easily because I'm watching yeah. you on the vlog going into work. You're doing all of that stuff. Oh! Easy, no, 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 easy. No, you jump at the end. No, but I can't do that second oh. jump. I can jump it in now, though. That's good. I can only jump now. Now, isn't this a dreadful thing to say when I'm in the pool? And it's, there's such a lovely <laughs> feeling of freedom when you jump. Yeah, so think, jump as much as you can, Kiki, at the age you are. Keep yeah. Jumping. Just Do. jump as much as you can. Yeah. How high can you jump? Jump the highest. Oh, that's high. Oh. Go on, mum, you jump. I can't. Do it. I can't because it's a little one. Even if you don't go off the floor, just go like that. Is that it? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> hey! Oh, my back! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. I'm, I'm protecting this knee. Yeah, of course you are. Hey! You came off the floor. 
No, she, it's like you've discovered <laughs> jumping. <laughs> Jump on the on the track <laughs> And die. Yes. 45. Thousand subscribers. What does that mean, Kiki? She's jumping out of the plane. She's jumping out of the plane. I've got, oh, one, I've, got oh, be, I've got to be taught. I've got to be taught how to jump. Yeah, we're not going to just, we're not just gonna hurl you out. No, you can't jump. Exactly. <laughs> We've just witnessed that you can't well, actually yeah. jump. Exactly. Somebody yeah. is going to have to true. push That's true. So saying that somebody can't jump, you've Don't got to jump the most ludicrous height. Exactly, and also, but surely I'm being held up by the parachute. And the man. And the man, even. Yeah, yeah. Organic chicken is ludicrous. We didn't buy it, it's too know, expensive. It's ludicrous. It's 14 it's pounds for, for one chicken, an organic chicken. I love this. I love Look at this subs, lemon salt. This is quite I'm an expensive posh thing Mark bought me. But you can do the same by getting some rock sea salt and then putting in, that's just a uh, lemon. So in there I've got onions, garlics, carrots, celery. Shitloads of parsnips. Shitloads of parsnips. We're having roast potatoes. We're having Brussels sprouts, carrots with parsley and onion, peas, cabbage, broccoli, Yorkshire pudding, <laughs> stuffing, gravy, apple crumble and cream. Whoa. You excited? So excited. And that's more than I've probably you're, eaten a year. You'll probably only have one mouthful of each thing, won't you? Oh, she's kept herself hungry. One. Yeah, no. Oh, I'll have a try. Okay. Give what me. kind of peeler do you like? Hmm. What does that even didn't mean? You didn't know there was choice, did you? Didn't I didn't even know, even know that this kind of a peeler. Or oh. there's this kind of a peeler. Oh my God. I'll, oh, I'll have that one. I'll go with that one, please. Just oh. for the apple crumple. No, it doesn't work. My auntie Jamelia used to call no. it apple crumple. Oh, <laughs> That doesn't work. Oh, oh, you have to go quite hard. You have to kind of cut it in. All right. Or you can go like this. <gasps> oh, you have to do it quite hard. Yeah, well, you have to put your thumb there okay. and pull. Have you never it's peeled very an sharp. Apple? No, clearly. I don't think she's ever peeled an apple but before. Mom, don't take your finger off. No, that wouldn't be good, would it? Get careful. Don't try and do it fast. You don't to cut your finger off. Do you like cooking? You say, you say you always say that, doesn't he, Subs? And it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I never do it. Brussels sprouts. So how do you think Nikki is doing with her non-drinking? Oh God, I'm 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 really, really proud of her. Mm. Because, well, obviously, I know how hard it is. I'm amazed how easy she's finding it. I can't work out if she's fine. I feel a bit jealous because I've never found it that easy to begin with. How can you find it that easy? I just had moments of going, yeah, what the hell? And I do think, I mean, I, even if it doesn't show it on the scales, I feel like I'm deflating. Do you? Wine definitely makes me baggy around the face. Oh. Puffy. Mm. But what about you two? Bloody hell, 15 years and five years. Well, I think we never really talk about you, Mum. We always talk about my 15 years. But I mean, how <laughs> do you feel, how do you feel about, did you, could, did you ever see yourself as being a non drinker No. Uh, well, I just, no. I never think of... I never think it in that way, do I? I? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. And I also re realise... You were very dependent. Well, I haven't been at certain times in my life, but no. then I have very much. And I realised that I'd gone... I slid very easily into that, which apparently is quite a huge group, isn't it, of older drinkers? You were... Yeah. You were You're part of that older like, woman. A late yeah. life alcoholic. Be yeah. warned, folks. Yeah. It can creep up on you. And she, you did. You became a full alcoholic. Oh, no, no. I did. I, I was. Creeps up on an awful lot of women. women as well. Yeah. And that's what I was scared of. I thought, I don't want to be like that. And maybe as well, women living on their own, particularly in yeah. the sense that you, you've got always got that private moment. Oh, drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the weird thing is... Was that the most dangerous thing? Like, yeah. Like, kind of being on your own and opening well, up the bottom? Well, I still even now, the, the one time that I get the slightest twinge is when I've been away somewhere and go home. And the first, as I go in, I, I realise that I must have been always thinking, oh, I'll have a glass of wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I was ne I'd never have a drink, especially when I got back home, because it would usually be after coming back from Mom's or something. Yeah. It was really weird how it suddenly, it was quite it sudden. Acceler it accelerated well, suddenly the, very fast. There was yeah. an acceleration with Liz's cancer. I mean, obviously, but that's an obvious one. But no, I think because I remember when we one. heard about Liz's cancer, you were absolutely blind drunk. I was. I was. So that was before Liz's cancer. No, that's true. But then yeah. I, I, as you always say, what's that alcoholic's phrase where they say, um, and then I drank on it. Yeah, I drank yeah. It. yeah and then you use it as a me. reason. Yeah, exactly. Pour me, pour me, pour me a drink. Yeah, I love all of that stuff. Mm. Did you think that your mum was an alcoholic? 
Were you worrying about that? I've anything? always known she was an alcoholic. When, she was, when I was a kid, I always knew she had problems with various substances. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Not a good no. old day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm obsessive with the way she can't even break the no. skin of that apple. I'm trying doing everything to try and get it to stop. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll, I'll do it whilst, whilst yeah. Nadia talks to me. <laughs> I'm fascinated myself why I can't do it. It's ridiculous. How hard can it be? No, so I've always had a knowledge of my mum's drinking. Yeah, always. Yeah, but I remember... But it's been on and off over the years. I think what surprised me was the speed and veracity with which it accelerated at a certain point in your life. Yeah, that's true. And also, I can remember when we were in Cornwall... when would that time have been? You know when we stayed in that place yeah. on New Year? When was we found out that place? Place? Mm. No, 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 not that time. Yeah. Oh, no. oh well, another time. Time. The time. The time before that was you took me out, we went out for coffee or something and you gave me a talking to, in fact. Did I? Which is, yeah, which is very Christ. unlike you. But you were sort of saying more or less, like you did with my knee, over my knee. Oh, right. Um, you don't do it very often, but when you do it, one has to pay attention. Oh. You kept using this phrase, you know, Mum, you really need to think about the amount you're drinking. And the fact that you were saying it at all when you never did, yeah. did put it in my mind that I've mm. got to start thinking about what Well, I, I think I remember we had a holiday in Los Angeles and I remember thinking, she's not going to remember any of this. No. Yeah. And I thought, how sad for her, because she's wanted to come for, yeah. for so long. And I remember after that, you hit a depression. But yeah, I mean, in terms of my mum being an addict or... Uh, an alcoholic. I mean, it's my most it's my most lasting memory of her as a child. I love stars. <laughs> yeah, my most lasting memory of you of, of you really as a as a kid was you know struggling with them back then. But yeah, I thought it's so amazing you got sober. Really amazing. So proud of you. Yeah, well done you. So oh, proud of you. Oh no, don't you stop me off. No. <laughs> I was also. I mean, not. I'm not saying this as a reason because there is no reason except for oneself. But I was always surrounded by people who did drink a lot. Mm. And there was also this ridiculous thing about, which I, when I think back now, about sort of, in a way, women keeping up with the boys. Yeah. Yeah. You keep up with the boys. It would be somehow a badge of honour yeah. to keep up with the boys. Yeah, it, yeah. well, and we've all done that. And it's yeah. just, oh, God, I hope we, we can help at... our girls swerve that, but I bet we won't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I realise, it's, it's funny, from a very young age, I realised how much alcohol would leave you my mum in a vulnerable position relative to predatory people. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, my most lasting memory of alcohol was that alcohol was a, a means to unlocking access to youth for a lot of people. Yeah. And I, and, and I used to be well, feel very protective of you at parties and stuff like that, because I'd see you start to drift away. Yeah. And as you drifted away, because I was only a kid, I could never really enact the, any protection, really. No, that must have been shocking. Yeah, no, it was, really, it was unsettling, but... But I could like see, but I could see. Film. Well, it was. It, well, not to put a final point on it. It was like horrible. Changing and, into and, a different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember and you saying that, that to me actually. That yeah. I was, yeah. And me and Nadia were talking about that the other day. I don't. I, I find even with Nadia, I find it kind of manageable when she's just sort of eccentrically drunk. Yeah. Or just loud. Funnily drunk. Loud or yeah. funny or yeah. even repetitive. But when jumping out of a plane because I do think it's a way of getting rid of me now. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want that to on. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? As she sings. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you are alright, Mum? Yeah. It's amazing they never what? Just saying that I think it's amazing that They've never, as far as I know, they might have done. No, no, I've never on seen On MasterChef or Celebrity MasterChef, ever got anyone to do a roast with all the trimmings or a English breakfast, because mm. both of oh, those, you, you have to know what you're doing. You have to be able to get your timing, get everything ready at the same time. It's hard. Yeah. Even poaching an egg is hard. Maybe they think poaching people is. won't be able to do it. 
No, I absolutely. Because I mean, I honestly, really the right. people that go on Celebrity Master, I mean, I only one really because people are so rubbish. No, they're not anymore. We've sort of inadvertently flipped over, which is quite nice, into uh, just weekend vlogging. Mm -hmm. oh, Do you know how you? weekend vlogging is like, you don't have to be banging on about doing press-ups, planks No, and, no, and no, exercise. exactly. And, and vloggery ends next week, guys. What does that but actually mean? What are we still going to do? What are when, we going to do? Well, we are going to... We keep having meetings about it and then, are, and then it changes. We are going to do the weekly weigh-in. We're going to carry that on on a Tuesday night. But it's not going to happen live because we want to weigh ourselves in in the morning. Yeah. No, we're going to do weigh ourselves in the morning, but tell you live what we are. We're going to weigh ourselves yeah. in the morning and tell you live. And then I think every Tuesday we should do a low-fat, like, live cook. Like, a, do some good recipes and do a bit of a chat with you to keep on the momentum and the support. Mm, that's a good idea. And then we're going to be doing, in February, Mum, we're going to be doing some relationship agony aunt lives with people where we're going to be advising people on how to stay married. Oh, or not, God, if you don't want to God stay married. Us. God help us, because at the end of the day, we're only just hanging in. Oh, for dear life, really hanging out, hanging on by the skin of a thread, thread yeah, of a skin, I, I, hair yeah. of a skin. No, hold on. Skin of a God. rhino. <laughs> on a thread. Bull in a china shop. Hanging on a thread. <laughs> so what are you doing here? So just in case nobody's seen me oh. explaining oh. this before, lots of you shake your potatoes to get crispy. Do the chicken back. You bring the fish. You chopped out of your skin. I oh, know I did. <laughs> I always fuck my potatoes. I beg your pardon. Fuck my potatoes. Fuck your potatoes. I fuck oh, my fuck oh, my potatoes. Oh, How's it going? Obediently, we all gather round. Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh. Those in the air. Time to turn them over. How you do yum that? yum yum. Don't you think there's something unearthly looking about yeah, chicken yeah, in that? Yeah, very. Food? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's nowhere yeah. to put them. Oh, you're sticky. Ah. I don't think it's quite sort of. I wouldn't mind being eaten that. Quite See why well. I'm doing that? So that we don't prick the skin. Yeah. Never prick the skin because then you won't have a juicy chicken. Oh, really? So you've cooked them upside down for the first pass. Yeah. So that all the succulent juice goes into the chest. Yeah. See, I suppose if I was to cook a. The problem is, if I was to cook a roast, all I'd end up doing is following your recipe in one of your books. Are you going to be roasting the parsnips? Oh, the oh I love so, that smell, the parsnips. Will you be roasting them? I'm going to roast them Yorkies. with a bit of maple syrup. Yorkies. I have a maple syrup, but I think I can let myself off with that. How much else I've cooked? Oh, look. What? She has, in fact, added raisins down in the dessert department. Especially for you. Oh. oh that's very kind Especially of you. Especially for you. Aspen. Oh, my Lord. What? Oh, yeah. Let's just hope they don't diminish. Why they so diminish? Don't we need to three grow... packets in there? Right, when, look in the book. Parsnips, when yeah. did we sew parsnips? Oh. I want to grow our own parsnips. And look at that stuffing. That stuffing looks gorgeous. Oh. Oh, So guys, after hours and hours of cooking, everybody is eating. Bon appétit, everybody. Bon appétit. Say hello to the subs. Hello. Hello. Mum and dad, everyone's been saying, yeah, where's your mum and dad? Where's your mum and dad? Hi, you been sunning us. <laughs> 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 Look at that, guys. <laughs> the runner bean was the least exciting bit on your plate. <laughs> So how was dinner, folks? Oh my God, that was so delicious. Oh, thank you so much. much. And did you can say about heart supporting. Heart supporting. Do you feel like your heart supported, Mark? Yes. He's a happy man. I didn't serve myself any potatoes, but now I've had some. Aren't they good? So we've massacred the chickens. Fantastic. But we've got dangerous leftover roasties and Yorkshires. And in the oven, the apple crumble. But wow. no alcohol.